So what's going on guys, I am Black Ops Amazing, welcome back to another Zombies video. Now today for you, I have a letter that you can find within Garrett Karevi, which is extremely interesting because it's from our very own Harvey Yeena. Harvey Yeena, if you didn't know, we last heard all the way back, I believe, in Darius World at War. So he is a very old member of Group 935 that we really don't have too much information about. We know he was a doctor in 935, and more than likely, he created the Scavenger Wonder Weapon you can find in Call of the Dead. The pack a punch version of that is called the Heena Infra Dead. The other small bit of information we have about this character, it's not much, but in Darius, you can actually find on the chalkboard it says Heena. Edward Richtofen, I know it was you, why won't it work anymore? Which it seemed like Richtofen was messing with Hina's projects. But anyway, like I said, you can find this letter within Garrett Karofi. Don't worry, there's no ciphering to do, no decoding or anything like that. It's in plain English for you, and this is what it says. General Lemkul, now I looked up the name Lemkul to just see if it was anyone we've ever seen in Call of Duty before, and in fact, it was a character in Call of Duty United Offensive. Just like Yina was an American, he was fighting during World War II, but he was known as Lieutenant, not General. There's probably no direct link here. Maybe it was just Treyarch using the same name, or maybe it's just a coincidence. We don't know, it's probably not the same person, but I just thought I'd point that out. Anyway, General Lemkul. The dragons continue to bring success in the Eastern Front. Russian resistance is fierce, but we are maintaining a stronghold in Stalingrad. There are rumors of a new push to retake the city, but I am confident it will be stopped. The hatchery continues to experiment with ways to enhance the beasts even further. Group 935 will not be technologically outplaced, by the Russians. Daglock research continues to inspire new theories of time displacement and possibly even movement across dimensions. Security is being enhanced, especially after the disaster was enabled by Dr. Groff's lax security measures. We have taken steps to ensure that none of this technology falls into enemy hands. However, I feel I must protest the behavior of this insufferable apparatus that we have been forced to contend with. Sophia, as it likes to be called, has demanded that we change the password to an encrypted cipher consisting entirely of unintelligible characters for maximum security. But the current method is sufficiently secure without getting in the way of researchers performing their duties. Even if someone were able to obtain one of the special code cylinders, they would still need to know the password. While it's possible that the password could be guessed, it's easy for our research members to remember it due to its association to our die Glock research. Still, I feel it's sufficiently obscure that no one should be able to guess it easily. Respectfully yours, Harvey Yeena. So there we go, definitely an interesting letter indeed. Harvey Yeena, a character that we haven't heard from for a very long time, and now suddenly in Garad Karofi, we're getting this little bit of information and so stuff that he's writing from as to when he was working at Group 935. We don't exactly know his status, if he's dead, alive, or whatever, but a few things he talks about in here are actually relatable. He starts off with talking about how Group 935 have a better advantage than the Russians. We know the Russians have kind of stole the blueprints, the schematics, of the German robots or Derisa. They've taken the German blueprints of those robots for themselves and created their very own versions of the robots, which are the gigants that we see in Garad Karovi. Although these gigants are superior, they have freaking laser beams coming out of their eyes. Group 935 went one further and have created these dragons to fight back against them. And obviously the Russians didn't expect these dragons to be created. They didn't think that the Russian robots would need armor that is going to withstand a ton of heat. So as you could see in Garad Karovi, the Russian robots have failed, they have broken down due to them not being able to withstand the heat of the fire from Group 935's dragon. So you can see 935 do have the better advantage, as Harvey Yena speaks about. He says 935 will not be technologically outplaced by the Russians. Diglock research continues to inspire new theories of time displacement and possibly even movement across dimensions. Diglock was a secret project that was undertaken by the Nazis, or at least that is the theory, surrounding secret weapons, teleportation, and we actually see in Derisa, there is the outline of what was Die Glock. Here at Derisa, the Germans, Group 935, do their very own experiments with the bell. Obviously, we don't know what happened. Did it get destroyed? Did it get removed? But we have here the pillars that once surrounded it, and we also have in the middle the little statue, or the little base plate, I guess you could call it, as to what Die Glock or the bell would have stood on. So like I said, he talks about how the Die Glock research continues to expire new theories of time displacement and possibly even movement across dimensions. This was the very first actions of teleportation by Group 
Route 935. This was them discovering more. He says security measures have been enhanced, especially after the disaster that was enabled by Dr. Groff's lax security measures. Obviously, Dr. Groff's security measures weren't good enough. They were, he's basically saying they were rubbish. And so, Group 935, Harvey Ener especially, have improved upon what Groff did. And he says that this time he's taken steps to ensure that none of the technology falls into enemy hands, meaning basically the Russians, just like it did last time when the blueprints for the German robots got taken or taken by the Russians. Harvey Ener is trying to make sure this doesn't happen again. And then he finishes by saying, however, I feel I must protest the behavior of this unsufferable apparatus that we've been forced to contend with. Sophia, as it likes to be called, has demanded that we change the password to an encrypted cipher. He says, Sophia as it, it is highlighted because Sophia is a machine. It's pretty clear that Harvey Yuna is confused as to what Sophia really is. Is it this woman, this assistant that we knew in Doris that helped out Maxis? That's what we first thought, but now in Gorad Karovi, she is a machine. And you can see by this that Harvey Yuna is confused as to what she really is. But he says that Sophia suggested that we change the password to an encrypted cipher, and I believe the encrypted cipher is Kronos. That is the one that we enter in the game anyway. Basically, so no one can get into the system and steal any of Group 935's work. But then it just goes on to try and give us little hints towards the cipher, which we already know, so I guess maybe this was meant to be found before the Easter egg. So it's just a letter, and it's not something we have to decipher and spend ages on. Literally, we can just see it, pick it up, look at what this means, and I'm thinking maybe it was supposed to hint towards the Easter egg, but nevertheless, even after it's been found, it's still very useful to just take a look at. And Harvey Yuna, a character that we've had so long in the zombie storyline, we haven't really heard anything about them. We knew he created the Scavenger from Call of the Dead. We heard a little bit about him in Derisa. And now we finally got this. What his status is at the moment. Is he dead? Is he alive? What happened to him? It's unsure. I mean, we have more ciphers in the game to find yet. So it's possible that we could be getting more information. But anyway, guys, thank you for watching the video. Hopefully you have enjoyed. Let me know your thoughts on this down in the comment section below. If you have enjoyed the video, a like rating would be much appreciated. And of course, we'll see you all in the next video. Thank you and goodbye.